hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this uh, problem right so in this problem it is said that the small sailboat may be tipped at its moorings is shown to effect repairs below the water line one attached rope is passed under the keel and secured to the dock right so here uh, one rope is passed through this keel and it is attached with this dock right and the other rope is attached to the mass and is used to tip the boat right so here uh, another rope is attached to this mass and the tension is applied so in order to rotate in uh, this small sail boat right so it is said that the boat shown has a displacement which equals the total mass of 5000 kg with mass center at g so here the mass center is located and the the boat has a total mass of 5000 kg so if we represent that uh, weight here so the weight will be acting vertically downward and this will be equal to 5000 into 9.81 so now if i write 5 into 9.81 so then this will be in kilonewtons right so this will be the weight i wrote this weight in kilonewtons right so this is 5 times 9.81 so this will be in kilonewtons right and further it is said that the meta center m is the point on the center line of the board through which the vertical results, uh, resultant of the bayonet force passes right and it is said that the gm length is 0.8 so this length is 0.8 this is given and it is said that all the forces that are acting on the surface of this board uh, the resultant of all those forces are passing through this point m right so the resultant of all these forces are passing through that point m right so if i draw that resultant so that resultant will be somewhere here right so let me draw that so this is that resultant bayonet force so let me name it b and it is passing through that point m right so <coughs> if we consider the free body diagram so then uh, that there will be a tension in this rope as well right so the tension will be developed in this rope and we will have that tension like this right so let's say that th this tension is represented by p right so if we define our positive x and y axis is in this direction let's say that uh, this is my positive x direction let's say this is our positive x direction and let's say that this is our positive y direction right so now if uh, we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equal to zero since the boat is in equilibrium right so as we can see that this p force is acting in the positive y direction so i will write p and this t is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus t and this is equal to zero or we can say that p is equal to t right so we can say that this p force the force developed in this uh, rope will be equal to the tension applied uh, at the at the rope which is attached to this mast right so this means that this p is equal to t right so we can replace this p with t right now if we apply the summation of moment about that point m equals to zero so as we can see that this resultant is passing through this point m so it will not produce the moment about that point m and as we can see that uh, this t and this t both these ropes are parallel to each other and they are making 90 degree with the horizontal with the x axis is right so and the perpendicular distance between these two is six meters so both of these are producing a couple right so the couple magnitude is uh, uh this t times the perpendicular distance between these two right so these two forces are producing the clockwise couple right so we can write that that moment will be equal to minus right uh the counterclockwise moment is positive right so they are producing a couple whose magnitude is t times 6 right so we can write that this is 6t right and as we can see that here we are given that uh, the center line of this boat is making 30 degree with the vertical right with this line so now uh, as we can see that if let me write this is that vertical line and this is the center line of the boat right so the center line is making 30 degrees with the uh, or we can say that the x axis is making 30 degrees with the vertical right so if the weight is acting vertically downward if this is that weight so if this angle is 30 degree then this angle is also 30 degree so this means that this weight is also making 
30 degrees with the x axis is right so now if i resolve this weight into its component so it will have two components it will have one component should be acting in this direction and it will have one component should be acting in this direction that is perpendicular to the x axis is right so this is the cost component and this cost component is passing through that point m so it will not produce the moment about that point m so only this component which is the sine component so this sine component is producing the moment about that point m and it is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point m so i will write uh, a plus and this is uh, 5 this is the cost component of the weight so the weight, weight is 5 into 9.81 and this is the sine component so we will write that this is sine 30 and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point m is that gm length right so that gm length is 0.8 this is given so we will multiply this with 0.8 and this will be equal to 0 or if we bring this 60 to the other side so we can write that this will become positive so this is 60 so this will give us that uh, tension t so this is 5 into 9.81 in uh, into sine of 30 into 0.8 and if we divide it by 6 so that will give us that t force right so that t is equal to 3.27 so this t is equal to 3.27 kilo newton so this much uh, t tension is required to hold this boat in this position shown so I hope you people would have understood uh, this particular problem uh, like this video if you people want me to solve such uh, more problems also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet.